Crate training is the process of teaching a puppy to accept a crate or cage as a familiar and safe environment. Our intention is to create a positive, safe location where the puppy is happy to spend time. This will also be the basis of how we toilet train our puppy. A puppy should not want to empty out in a crate and keeping it in its crate will allow us to some extent control its toilet habits. The first step is creating a positive association with the crate. Here we are luring Val into the crate and marking as soon as she enters. Not all puppies immediately take to the crate. Some take a bit more persistence than others. At the start, we reward for any forward momentum into the crate. We continue to do this until the puppy is all the way in the crate so that we can shut the door. We let them out almost immediately and slowly increase the duration of time the puppy is in the crate. We can lure with any reward item or toy. By placing the puppy's favourite toy in the crate and closing the door, we will increase the puppy's motivation to get into the crate. By having toys and food pre-positioned in the crate, it provides your puppy the ability to independently reward itself for going into the crate. Your puppy is going to cry in the crate. This is totally normal. The key to success is to only let the puppy out once it is quiet and calm. Whilst it's crying in the crate, the puppy must be ignored. Any attention, good or bad, will be seen as success by the puppy and will increase the duration it will cry for. A puppy is going to need to toilet very regularly, and so we don't leave them in the crate for any extended period of time. When we do let the calm puppy out of the crate, we take them immediately to the place we want them to use as a toilet. If that's all the way at the other end of your house, it may be necessary to carry the puppy to the desired spot to avoid any accidents. Be aware that if you have fed your puppy and placed it in the crate, it will need to be taken out to toilet around 10 to 15 minutes later. Come on. Your puppy may not toilet immediately, and it could take several minutes of waiting. Don't get frustrated, but try and keep the puppy in the location you want it to toilet. Through consistency and repetition, the puppy will learn where it is appropriate to toilet. When the puppy toilets where we want them to, we mark and reward that behaviour. Yes, good girl, good toilet. Yeah, good. Leaving an eight week old puppy unsupervised in the home is a recipe for disaster. The crate provides a secure area where the dog is left alone and can't get into any trouble. This can be beneficial when you have guests that perhaps are not comfortable around dogs or a dog that isn't comfortable around your guests. To achieve this, we always minimize our interaction with the puppy while it is in the crate. Our intention is to have the puppy think of the crate as its own bedroom or safe place. 
If at any stage your puppy toilets inside the house, we should consider that our fault. The puppy should be supervised or be in the crate. Look for telltale signs that your puppy may need to toilet, like spinning or excessive sniffing in a particular area.